Hello. Today we're going to look at case studies in engineering. A case study is basically a story. It tells us a story when it begins, when it ends, the ending could be. Think of it as once upon a time. And in every good story or engineering case study, we have a setting, the place where it happens, the characters, all of those different people who are introduced, and to a certain extent, even clues that are set in place for the coming events, but most important, the coming complication. So when we first begin to read, we have to pay attention to when. When does the story happen? When does the case happen? Where? Who are the people that are involved in it? Next, we pay attention to the events. What happens in the story? And this is usually told in a chronological order. In other words, what happened first, second, and so on. And then it creates a sequence of events. And as in just about any story, if there's a problem or a complication or a dilemma which the characters face in the story. They have, there's a problem. And they're set in a situation where they have to solve that problem we have to ask ourselves, what is the complex issue? And finally, the ending. There's always more than one way of resolving a problem or a dilemma. And we have to look and see how do the characters in the story solve the problem. And finally, every good story has its ending, its moral, its lesson, something it wants to tell us. And this is what the author wants the reader to think about. In many ways, that ending, the resolution, its connection to the dilemma, is what the author, or the writer, wants to think about, and we as readers or engineers to consider. So when you read a case study, you're reading a story. You're looking for the setting, the when, where. You're looking for the characters, the who. You're looking for the events, what happened, or perhaps what is happening. And the problem, what are the different aspects of the problem? Um, who or what caused the problem? And in many cases, there may be more than one cause. And was the problem solved? And if so, how? And if not, why not? And again, we're looking at the moral of the story. What does the author want us to understand? It's the author's main claim. In engineering, um, they use engineering case, or just case, or case study. They basically all refer to the same thing. And in engineering, a case study is defined as an account of an engineering activity, event, or problem containing some of the background and complexities actually encountered by an engineer. So many times, the case studies that you will look at in courses actually happen. And it's used in engineering courses to enhance learning about engineering principles, ethics, practices. These are some real things that happen in the field. How were they dealt with? Perhaps they could be dealt with in a different way. So again, to sum up, case studies in engineering involve complex issues. Often, there's no single correct answer. And as a student, you're going to be asked to analyze that case study and perhaps select or come up with your own best answer to the situation. It doesn't show us what's right or what's wrong. And many times, it shows us an unsuccessful or an incomplete attempt at a solution. And as students, as the learners, you say, OK, what went wrong? What can we learn from other people's errors? So in a, an actual case study, it also many times includes an overall issue or dilemma, discusses it. What happens here? What happens here? Sometimes it includes suggested resolution. And 
also settings, personality, sequence of events, problems, conflicts, dilemmas, and of course the resolution. So now you're ready to read and learn from case studies. So when you're reading, consider the where, the when, the why, the who, the what, and the how. And what can you learn from the case study?